Across Europe, countries are taking their first cautious steps towards opening up as they gradually start to lift lockdown restrictions. But authorities say the crisis will linger until there's a safe and effective COVID-19 vaccine that's available to the general public. The process normally takes years, but with so much at stake, scientists in Britain are trying to speed up the process and are about to start human trials. Even Laverick reports. With global infection cases of coronavirus passing the 2.5 million mark, governments are throwing money at scientists and the development of a vaccine. I'm today making available £20 million to the Oxford team to fund their clinical trials. As a result, I can announce that the, the vaccine from the Oxford project will be trialled in people from this Thursday. It normally takes years to get to the stage of human trials, but international research is gathering pace, with most viewing it as the best way to defeat the virus. At this stage, it's not about hope. This is a, 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 we have to work out whether or not these vaccines work. And there's two, two important questions from the trials. First of all, about safety. Now, what sort of reactions are likely to happen to the vaccine? That's why we need to, to get on and start the testing in humans. In the absence of a vaccine, testing the public and telling people to stay at home continue to be the best weapons. The wearing of masks has become an issue. In Germany, homemade ones are becoming a common sight, especially now that Berlin has joined several federal states in announcing it will make protective masks compulsory on public transport. Fellow European countries continue to ease lockdown restrictions. Hard hit Italy, which has recorded its first significant fall in infections despite reporting over 500 new deaths, is promising a cautious plan for an exit by the end of the week.